So the Jack Revenger kit for the BP-50 has easily become one of my most used conversion kits here in Modern Warfare 3 and truthfully one of my most used weapons. It just perfectly fits my play style. It turns the BP-50 into an SMG while also having a very good damage range with low recoil, meaning you can run around with it like an SMG, of course, but also take AR like gunfights and still find a ton of success at that. With the fire rate almost at 1,000 rounds per minute and having very little recoil, you can still shoot across the map with this thing. However, I don't recommend it. That being said, I think they need to continue conversion kits into the future of Call of Duty, in including Black Ops 6. I think this was a great idea by Sledgehammer Games and something that 100% needs to keep going into the future. So obviously the first attachment we're gonna have here is the aftermarket part or the conversion kit with the Jack Revenger kit, which turns it into an SMG by giving it a better recoil control pattern, aim down sight speed increase and fire rate increase. So when we look at these statistics here, you can see a big one there, 15%. To that overall rate of fire but more importantly it's going to be the movement we are gaining a massive 22 percent of the ads 20 percent to the sprint to fire speed and of course even more mobility increases there with smaller values this particular conversion kit really just i don't know what it is about it just suits me absolutely perfectly on to my next attachment here i have a laser sight with the one milliwatt quick fire laser i've talked about this attachment a lot or just laser sights in general i personally am not a fan of the laser sights that have cons like for an example the kamurvin laser here has a flashlight visible in ADS along with laser visible in ADS and it's kind of not worth it simply because if you're in a corner and you reload and you aim down the set you're just very easily found out in some circumstances this laser sight will work but I'm just personally more of a fan of those that don't have any cons for my rear grip we have the TR STIV grip tape before fire aiming stability recoil control and gun kick control with the fast fire rate attachments like this are 100% necessary just to make it easier to take your long range fights and this is no joke either you're going to be gaining 10% to the gun kick 7% to the horizontal and vertical recoil control and it's going to play a big part into taking medium range fights with this weapon on to the next attachment I am using the high grain rounds because we did lose a lot with the revenge your kit this is going to increase it by 15 percent there bringing it up to 12.9 meters which is definitely in a very good spot with the fire rate honestly i don't notice the damage range drop off much simply because the recoil pattern's low and the fire rate's fast so as long as you're accurate the damage range is pretty good in my opinion and my final attachment here is a muzzle with the zem compensated flash hider in order to give you more recoil control along with fire aiming stability there's plenty of options here you can go with i've experimented with the scratch 20l suppressor i've also experimented with the perjure break here i couldn't remember the name of this off the top of my head they ended up changing this one don't know why it's actually kind of weird i've also experimented with the casus break so at the end of the day there are plenty of options you guys can go with here it's going to come down to preference and in this particular case i did like the zem compensator so as always there's all of your attachments on the screen if you guys needed to pause the video to copy this down as always i have something for you guys to go down in the comments for me today i want you to tell me your favorite conversion kit here in modern warfare 3 i'm really curious because maybe i'll cover some of them in the very near future here is also the rest of my loadout on the screen if you guys also wanted to copy this one down make sure you guys are hitting the like and subscribe button for me as always we're jumping into a gameplay to feature this absolute beast of a weapon hope you guys enjoy over here on tokyo with the number one conversion kit in modern warfare 3 we have the bp50 smg kit let's see what we can do today as normal i'm going to hit this flank over to my right and try to shoot some people in the booty cheeks so hit the cross nobody's there so they're probably oh god let's say they're probably yep i am dead i was gonna say they probably went through arcade i got distracted my team's not moved up the map whatsoever mildly concerning All right, that's UAV. It looks like I'm going to be playing the hill. I'm very stuck for the moment being. This guy lost me. VTOL's in. The other team's so intent on playing the objective, and my team is not, so I gotta pay attention here. Advanced UAV. 
My VTOL literally got no kills. Oh my god, I am in danger. I'm going to have to play a relentless amount of OBJ. I got to go, 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 go. <clears throat> I got to lock in this DNA and then I got to, I, I dude, I'm, I'm speechless because of how this is going. I got to get the DNA bomb. There we go. And I got to play so much OBJ. Okay. DNA bomb. I think I just got to go with it. Dude, look at the score. I'm not gonna hit it because they're we're, we're they're not on the hill. All right, teammates on it. If they take over a hill, I'm 100% going with the DNA. Okay, for right now. Again, I'm gonna hold this. I could hit it actually right now because we could definitely try to hold all of this. Might be a good idea to be honest. I mean, this guy's frying me. Kind of want to make a setup on that Raven kit, the MCW conversion kit. It's looking like a vibe actually. I don't know where they're at. I thought I destroyed that. The game's a lot closer now, so I'm not bugging so much. All right, this is where I struggled last time, so I'm going to give him the DNA bomb now. Let these kills come through. Yes, sir. Okay. Now they should be in front of me, so we're going to hit this corner right here. I mean, the ultimate goal here is to just hold them back, right? Like, simple as that. I'm hoping, nah, teammate couldn't take that guy out. This is becoming one of my go-tos here for good reason, man. And I got a second DNA bomb. Are we kidding? That's what I'm dying to is the bouncing Betty cheese. 
Oh, oh teammate saved me. The melee weapon almost gave me the, the, the digit. The digits. I cannot speak. I'm buzzing. And another VTOL, one kill off Hunter Bomb. There's the 100 and team field lock in the W here. I don't have bullets. That's going to be it. 100 and freaking 12. We're out of here, coach. Let's talk about that was like, what, a 90 point comeback? Maybe even more than that. Double DNA bomb. I don't think I could have featured that better.